Hello, the gentleman gamer here, and today we're playing Eve Online, and it's that time of year again where we must battle the rogue swarm that's invading New Eden. We're on our way to a site right now. They're actually pretty easy uh, for the most part, and um, they are a little different. The first thing you'll notice that we have a hackable container here in the uh, form of a disabled swarm overmind. So you need a data module to um, to get the good stuff. You, technically, you don't have to really uh, do any of this, but if you want the good loot, we got to do a little hacking, which will make for some weird fits probably. But so we got to do. Now the actual grid is a little bigger than um, if you're only done um, hacking in high sec, and it can be a little tough if you're not careful, like I'm doing right now. This is bad. The guy has to go first. He's the most dangerous. Oh, well, there we go. That was easy, though. Got lucky. And once we hack that, he should, uh, the swarm overmind should so spawn. Alright, so we'll approach this guy. We'll get out the medium drones for the extra DPS. But be warned, uh, these drones like attacking medium drones for some odd reason. And they actually might change their behavior as soon as I pop them out. Let's see what they do. Maybe we'll leave them alone this time. Yeah, well, let's go there. Let's keep an eye on them, because I already lost a ha hammerhead to these guys already. Oh, one changed. So I'm not sure that's enough to pull them in, but we'll let them go. So this is the uh, uh, Swarm Overmine Tetris, uh, which is what you get in high sec. In low sec, I saw um, Overmine Primus, and I believe you get a Segundus. A Segundus, I think is how you say it. In null sec. Uh, the loot seems a little better in low, and I think it's a little better in, uh, in uh, null sec as well. Um, not bad so far. I got uh, accelerators, blueprints. This Kawhi is not bad. I'll take him down real quick. The, the tank on the, the high sec one does seem a, little, um, a lot easier to get through, though. In the high, low sec, it seems a little tankier, which could be perception only because I'm you know, scanning local, make sure no one comes in and kills me. Let's pull these hammerheads in because they will take more damage. And I'll pull out the the light ones here. And they don't seem to go after light drones at all. So if you just pull them out while you're doing other things here, you should be okay. Let's go after this guy here. And now we have to check the loot out. Let's see, what did he give us? Alright, some boosters, good. Now, part of the um, the uh, the event is actually uh, salvaging this wreck, but you don't get salvage. You get um, like rogue drone components, which is a little weird. We'll do that. But while we're doing that, we're gonna take a look at this object, which is what we hacked: the um, the Sable Swarm um, Swarm Overmind. It's weird because you usually don't see them disabled, and it gives a little bit of a uh, little tidbits here and there. Because this rogue swarm of mine appears to have been disabled or subverted, which is interesting because you that word subverted you see, if I remember properly in the Triglavian data stream. If I remember any, if I remember properly, perhaps by means of some a variety of intrusion countermeasure software, so like um, like a Trojan or a virus of some kind, it might be possible to hack into this disabled rogue drone and release the locks on internal holds. Um, which is interesting they say that because each one I have uh, I've hacked it's been empty. There's nothing in it So uh, I don't know this does entail risk triggering an alert signal to other swarm over mines or perhaps disrupting Whatever has disabled uh, this drone vessel So they don't really tell you how was how it was disabled what disabled it uh, but it was um, Disabled in some fashion very interesting now keep Keep that word subverted in mind, because as we go through the event, um, you'll see more of that. So good. we salvaged the site, we get anything, any components off it. Now nah, we only got metal scraps. Alright, so pull these guys in. We're going to head to the station, and we will um, look at some of the rewards I've been getting. We'll dock up. And we're back to this part now. I've uh, complained about this in the last event they had, um, uh, manually claimed rewards. I don't mind the idea of doing it. 
I just hate it when you click on it and it opens up the giant agency window <laughs> and it blocks your entire screen. Um, I can see the value of, you know, actually claim the reward. It feels a bit more like you actually got something, you know, even if you only got points. And it could be, uh, I, the more I think about it, it could be like an anti-botting measure as well if you have to manually click the rewards. Um, but just, just, just make them claimable up here. Don't make me open the agency window again, CP. It just, it's really annoying. It was especially annoying last event because it blocked your whole screen when you're trying to run a timed abyssal site and things are nuding you. Very irritating. <laughs> so just work on, just make them claimable here. Click the button, they're claimed, you know. If they want to open it, they can hit you know, the little agency button. But if you don't want to, just make it claimable over here. All right, with that out of the way, let's take a look at the actual... Uh, rewards here. The rewards are actually really good. It really incentivizes me to burn through these and I'm so close to this I'm definitely jumping to that one too. Uh, but the, the um, actual uh, challenges are pretty straightforward. Uh, destroy rogue drones, complete the sites, excuse me, uh, hack a disabled swarm overmind and salvage the overmind uh, that spawns. So th technically to, to get all these you really don't have to do these two. You can just do these ones, kind of like blitz them, I guess, or just stay there and destroy the waves as they come in. Um, but the um, the loot NPC does drop some some good stuff that I think are worth the time. So doing these seems worth it. Um, well, at least the, this one. You don't have to salvage it. Salvage actually takes a long time, even with a Tech 2 Salvager. And you don't always get components. A lot of times you get scrap metal. So, um, But the, the skins you get for this are pretty amazing. Uh, we'll take a look at this one. And this is a Dominix. It's a Rogue Drone Dominix. I've been asking for one of these skins since a long time. Well, to be fair, though, when, when I was asking for them, they looked a little different. They had tentacles everywhere and, like, weird, like, or, like, metallic growths on the top of the ship. Well, actually, where, where these lights are, that's where the growths were. Like, lighting up in all weird directions. Uh, but these are animated though. These are pretty cool still because you have little drones flying between the little broken open um, areas of the hull uh, Coming out of the uh, drone holds too. So it's still a really cool skin But I did like it a little more before but still it's pretty much like a zombie. It's a giant zombie ship <laughs> pretty much it could have been part of the Halloween event, you know so they have the Dominix as the last skin you can get but they also add uh, one of each uh, for every race. We have the Abaddon, we have the Typhoon, and the Raven. Let's take a look at the Typhoon. That looks pretty cool, I think. Typhoon's another coolly cool battleship. And just, they're everywhere, just like all over the place. Big old sections of the hole opened up, and the drones just flying in and out. So again, very, very cool. Very, very cool skins. Um, and um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll see lots of people flying these around uh, but there's some lore as well to try to explain why they have these to begin with uh, now this is pretty long but the, the, the short of it is that the militaries were trying to study the rogue drones up close and they were using a combination of nano coatings and hollow projection to kind of like pretend to be a rogue drone ship which as you can probably imagine didn't work very well <laughs> but um but uh us capsuleers like the look of it so you know now we have the cat, uh, us, you know, being, um, you know, uh, somehow enjoying the look of a completely ripped apart ship, like a zombie ship, look cool. So we're using them. So that's pretty much the short of it. You can read the full description here if you want. Um, but those are cool. But this is actually interesting as well. Uh, it's a new type of drone that they don't give you a lot of info when you press the info here, but it's called Subverted. Again, you see subverted again, JVN TAC UC49, uh, and it's for a new drone. Um, but the box, the, the box looks like Blood Raiders. It's red. It looks like it has a Blood Raider skull on the side. But they give you no, no other information really here. But let's take a look at the actual drone on the market because it does give you a bit more more info. It says an unusual combat drone design that achieves enhanced firepower, firepower to uh, control bandwidth ratio from rogue drone technology. The base technologies have been subverted, again that word, and reduced 
and reduced to a, com a standard combat expert system level of intelligence as used in other ship deployed drones. Despite being cleared for use under Concord's directive Omega 1.5, the code ARIA protocols uh, and, the, and the code ARIA protocols technology is strictly under terms of operators on risk and is not being marketed by any major drone manufacturers. Um, pretty much only us. Only us uh, reckless capsule players are using them. Um, unfortunately, they don't look like rogue drones. They look like hammerheads. I think Uriel on Twitter uh, suggested maybe we should make them look drony, like, you know, tentacle or something. I take it. Um, but it's interesting that they have or subverted here. Also interesting that they have, like, a, a Blood Raider box that they come in. So I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe they're trying to connect the two events because they're pretty close together. You have the Rogue Swarm event right now and the Blood Raider event for Halloween. So maybe they're going to be connected in some fashion. Subverted, I'm, I'm thinking Trig Triglavian for some reason. So I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. But definitely worth it. The, drone, the, the, um, the drones themselves are like, they look like medium drones, but their bandwidth is much higher. I think it's about double, I think. Yeah, 20 megabytes a second, and they do Omni damage. So you really can't use them on a Gila because the um, you only get to deploy one, and you get more DPS out of two. So probably battleships will be using these more. But they're cool. They're really cool adding new drones to the game. And uh, they should make them look more rogue drony though. Come on. I agree with Uriel on that one. But uh, I think that's the whole event. Uh, this is some of the loot I got here. You got a bunch of... Um, uh, integrated and augmented drones, even some mining ones. So the price for these will probably go down a little bit, even though they're probably still a bottleneck for a lot of the components though. Like this stuff is still gonna be hard to find. They don't drop that much in the event. Um, if you're in drone land right now, you're probably <laughs> pretty happy for the extra blueprints maybe. Um, so I probably, I probably look, keep, keep an eye on prices. Uh, see if they, if they, if they, they crash to the floor. Maybe a good buying opportunity maybe. Um, but maybe if you want to build them, maybe wait until the price goes up. Uh, but I got those. I also got a bunch of um, uh, accelerators. I got basics that are really, really like six points. Standards are 10 for a regular amount of time. The advanced ones, I think, are 12. And I also got three extended ones as well, which I only got in low sec. So I'm not sure if that's like a rule. I only got them there. Uh, and of course, we got some um, drone components from uh, salvaging the Overmind. Uh, but that's about it. So that's the event, guys. Um, I use my trusty Legion. Let me know in the comments what ships you're using. You know, I really don't need that much good aggro of a ship. I'm pretty sure you can do it in like a Jackdaw or something. Um, but let me know. Uh, but that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, of course, leave a like. If you like the content, of course, subscribe. And fly safe. And fly brave.